It's the breakfast show, and we're so happy to have Adam Lambert. Hello, Adam. Hi there. How are you? I'm all right. Say hi to Montreal. Hey, Montreal. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Adam. Your life definitely has been uh, fast tracked since Idol, and uh, your CD as well for your entertainment. Congrats on that, by the way. Thank you. Did you find you were prepared for the insanity of the business? Like, is there anything that's uh, caught you off guard about this business so far? Yeah, I don't think anybody can really prepare you. It's it's a wild ride. Um, you know, I think that the, the, the fast pace of it, you know, all, all the demands on, on your time and energy is something that has taken me by surprise. But I, I feel like I've quickly adjusted as needed. And, uh, you know, I, I am enjoying myself. So I'm just going to keep moving forward. I saw you on Oprah last week. And oh, yeah. Did you like it? Oh, uh, you did amazing. Now, were you nervous? I was a little nervous before I went out there, but you know she's got such an amazing way of making you feel comfortable. I think that's why she's so powerful and then has done so well for herself. She's very good at what she does. So, like having to talk to Oprah about like uh, crotch grabbing and collars and leashes and stuff that, that didn't throw you off at all. No, because no. everybody's been asking me about that crotch grabbing and leashes. Yes. So I've got practice. <laughs> <laughs> I loved your answer, by the way, because basically what you did is said, yeah, yeah, you know what, you put all that into perspective, but you basically said that you critiqued yourself more your performance on the show yeah i like mean i think if any if anything i looked back on it and been oh my vocals weren't at you know the top level that they're you know not my my favorite vocal performance but you know you can't win them all and i, I made the decision and i stick to it and and um i thought it was a good old time I, and if anybody had a problem with it then i guess i'm not your style we're talking to american idol runner-up adam lambert and uh, adam we have a fan on the phone has a question for you Hi, Adam. Uh, it's Christine from Morganite in the Laurentian, north of Montreal. I've been a big fan. I bought your CD. Uh, of course, your hit is always playing in my car. My question is, what is life for you right now, being a star, and how do you juggle with that? Um, you know, obviously, uh, I have more opportunities now. I think the reason why I auditioned for American Idol is I just, I was kind of like bored. I was, <laughs> I was at home and I was, I was working. I had a, a job in a musical called Wicked in LA and I was, I was working on some music and things like that, but I just wanted more opportunities and adventure and I'm certainly getting them now. Let me tell you, I'm up here in, in, in Canada. I'm doing this. I'm, I, I it's like, uh. It's like a whole new world has opened up for me. Hey, how tough is it to choose songs for the album? I mean, I know you have a couple of tracks that are written by rockers. I mean, you have Pick You Up, uh, Rivers Cuomo worked on that one. You have Music Again, written by uh, Justin Hawkins from The Darkness, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you get the demos, do they sound like rock songs and you change them to match your style? What do they sound like when you first hear them? Yeah, I mean, some of the some of the rockier ones sounded a little more like straight ahead rock, and and some of the pop ones sounded even poppier. And I think what we tried to do was kind of split the difference. And you know, if it was like a real pop song, we would put guitars on it. And if it was a real rock song, we put some synthesizer and maybe like a, a uh, you know some beats on it. Sure. My my goal for the album was to blend classic 70s and 80s rock with um, you know dance pop music. Sounds um, like you did it. I, I think so. I'm really proud of it. All right, we're talking to Adam Lambert. The song is What Do You Want From Me? It is coming up in just a second. Adam, hang on. we got a celebrity that wants to talk to you. Come Adam Lambert joins us here. Of course, the American Idol runner-up. And uh, Adam, we have a special celebrity guest who wants to talk to you. Here she is. See if you can figure out who we're talking about. Adam. Okay, A, how much do you miss me? But B... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> who's your favorite chick in this business? Come on. Tell everybody here who's the best, who likes to party at um, burlesque clubs with you. <laughs> yes, you're right. That is Oprah. <laughs> Holy put on the spot. Do you know who that is? That's Kesha. I love yeah. that girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, she's, I, I, you know, we met not too long ago, um, but we've we've become wonderful little text and Twitter buddies. I mean, she, we're both real busy, and, and I wish we could hang out more, but I adore her. I think she is totally has, like, the right attitude. She's got a great um, spirit, and she just, I think she knows how to live life. And very down-to-earth as you are. Yeah, she's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Adam, you've been a stage actor since you were a little kid, so you've been around artists and the business for a long, long time. Do you think that that gave you an edge on Idol? Certainly, yeah, yeah, I think it did. I think um, there were certain things that, that that I was just conditioned by that lifestyle to, to, to deal with on Idol. Um, 
you know, things that your your other contestant might be kind of new to. Um, so I did have a, a lot of advantages as far as that went. Also, in just creating a performance, you know, like knowing kind of what an audience wants or being able to sense what an audience wants. Um, really helped me. Sometimes I miss that boat. Sometimes I don't quite know what my audience <laughs> wants, or I misjudge it. But uh, you know, uh, I think overall, I think that experience has helped me a lot. Do you miss the Broadway stage? Um, I first of all, I've never actually been on Broadway. Well, yeah, um, okay, off Broadway stage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Broadway productions yes, that have been yes. turned into corporate, you know, theme park musicals. Yes, I do. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Um, Who wouldn't? I no, I do. It's it's been great. I was I was employed. I I had a great job. Um, I love being on stage, but. One of the reasons why I really wanted to get into this side of the business in the recording industry was I wanted to be a little more responsible for the art that I was creating. I wanted to be able to make creative decisions. And as a performer, I wanted to be able to get up on stage and, okay, I'm going to end the song on this note tonight and not this one. And with, with professional theater, everything's locked in and you kind of have to do it the same every night. And that lack of novelty kind of started to get to me a little bit. It's Cat Lee and Sir Patrick, Virgin Radio's The Breakfast Show with Adam Lambert, American Idol runner-up Adam Lambert. Tell me a little bit of some about behind-the-scenes stuff and what the audience like ourselves don't really understand about the show and what goes on. You know, it's funny. I, someone was asking me earlier um, if I was watching Idol yet, and uh, I usually wait till about the top ten because I feel sorry for the people that come on the, in, in the audition process and get made fun of. And the reason why I feel sorry for them, and something that people don't realize, is that the, the, the audition process is made to look like it's all in one day. But in truth, there's about uh, three to four different rounds of auditions that happen before we get in front of the, the TV judges. So it's a very drawn out process. And in the midst of it, you, you, you're invested and you get your hopes up. Um, and it happens over the course of a couple months. So I, I think that something that people need to realize is that these people really have been kind of led on for a long period of time. And it's, it makes for great TV. I'm not doubting that, but I feel bad for them. It's a little exploitive, for sure. A little bit, yeah. yeah. All right, 725. We're talking to Adam Lambert. Adam, hang on a second. We're going to play your whole song in its entirety. What do you want from me? Coming up, it's 725 on Virgin Radio. Now, here we are. now on Blu-ray and DVD. Eyes of Zero. It's one right now in downtown Montreal. we got a couple more seconds here with American Idol finalist, Adam Lambert, we're going to play the new single, What Do You Want From Me? Getting back to American Idol, are you okay with the whole voting process on American Idol? No, I think it's legit. I think um, people vote for what they like and who they like, and I think it's cool. Have you downloaded Chris Allen's album? Yes, I have. <laughs> and second of all, what's the most surprising thing in your iPod right now? Surprising thing in my iPod? Oh, Surprising. I don't know. What would surprise you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Ask me. I don't know. I'm well, not I mean, sure. Yeah, country music would surprise us. Definitely Taylor no Swift. country. No country. Okay. No you country. want to check again? <laughs> no. No Taylor uh, Swift in there. Right? No Taylor Swift. No. She, you know, I met her, though, in passing. She's really nice. She's sweet. And so pretty. I don't know what would be surprising to you, honestly. I, 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 I have a real love of... Um, Missy Elliott, I think she's incredible. I oh, love her cool. music. That's kind of a random pairing for love me. Missy. What about 80s music? Were you an 80s guy? You know, I never really got into 80s music. And it's so yeah. funny because I hear a lot of comparisons to <laughs> 80s artists. And I'm That's like, oh, surprising. Okay. I mean, a little bit here and there. Like, I like 80s Prince and Michael yeah, Jackson. Sure. Um, but a lot of the 80s rock I never really got into. We're talking to Adam Lambert. The song, What Do You Want From Me? Before we let you go, give us uh, your take on a little background and, and what it's like when you hear this song on the radio. It's... It's wild to me. I th This whole journey, like, all of a sudden I'm on the radio. I'm like, wow, it came true. Um, the song itself, it was written by Pink and Max Martin, right. and I think it's brilliant. It was. I heard the demo that Pink recorded of it, um, and I fell in love with it. I thought the lyrics were so universal and relatable, and uh, I think it's a song that's really open to interpretation. Here's Adam Lambert. What do you want from me on Virgin Radio? Hey.